If we weren't in a pandemic, I may not eat this. Good morning, YouTube. It's Friday, 10 a.m. I was gonna wanna have a nice, easy Friday, just get some work done, but I have to send an email to some very important people in my company to explain and convince them that what they want to do is a bad idea and we shouldn't do it. Very, very important people. Think I can manage it just to like fix it this morning so that I can like go back to doing my work in the afternoon. Why do people have to be so difficult? Okay, YouTube, it is five o'clock. I'm finishing work now. I'm just about to put this work laptop away. It was a slightly interesting day with work stuff. So I'm an IT manager, so I work in IT. Uh, some people think that means I'm in software engineering, like I'm a software engineer, but I'm not. I'm in corporate IT, which means I'm in a department that takes care of the systems that employees use like email, calendar, video conferencing, things like that. Getting people hardware, like if you need a laptop or a monitor or a keyboard or if any of that stuff breaks, is my team that takes care of that. I used to have a part-time job doing a help desk for my university. So the help desk there, they hired part-time students and they only hire part-time students, which was like a really nice thing. We all got along really nicely together. I would either be at work on campus doing the help desk or I'd be at class. Anyways, I can talk someone's ear off about my trials and tribulations on doing corporate IT, but that's the industry that I'm in. Anyways, I need to decompress and like get myself out of work mode. Um, I'm gonna eat something. I swear, I'm hungry all the time. Why am I hungry all the time? Weigh myself this morning, same weight as yesterday. And I look back to when I first started being in lockdown. So two weeks ago, I lost a pound over the two weeks and my uh, percentage body fat readings have gone down like a percent, which are all good things. I don't trust the numbers fully though. I know I'm losing muscle mass. I'm doing the dancing, but it doesn't really feel like that much exercise. I do sweat when I do that usually, but I guess the numbers don't lie. Okay, YouTube. I have to leave the apartment. There's a couple of packages in the mail room that I have to get. How do I look? I'm wearing special go outside clothes, which is not a tank top. Got totally distracted taking selfies. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna step outside. Okay, it is 8.30 and I'm ready for dinner. For lunch, I put into the toaster oven chicken breasts. Usually I get chicken thighs, but the only things available were chicken breasts, so I got that. And that's the carnage. And it came out a lot drier. I guess chicken breasts don't have as much fat. I had one of them for lunch. The rest is in the fridge. I'm gonna microwave it now. Okay, let's see if this is dry or not. What's this white thing? <laughs> okay, ignore that. Ooh, it's that rubbery sound when you slice into it. It's kinda hot. I hate dry chicken so much. But yeah, it's kinda dry. I forgot to vlog this earlier, but I'm back from getting packages. And this is what we got. We have band-aids, and then we have filters for my water pitcher. It is riveting stuff. Oh my God, I hate this camera so much. I like this camera, but I hate this camera so much because I just found out all the stuff I recorded on the couch and noticed that it was on manual focus. So sorry guys, but that was like pretty good content. So I promise you everything from now on will be in focus. This next part 
is gonna be like lit out of focus, but I promise you it won't happen again. Usually I have my laptop at the dining table, but today I feel like I want to be on the couch. That was useless information. Let's go through some news, shall we? Pink test positive for coronavirus and recovered. More spring breakers diagnosed with coronavirus. China reports 19 new cases, all but one imported. Hawaii activates National Guard. Los Angeles records 1,000 cases in 48 hours. Thailand suspends international flight arrivals. Now there are at least 276,995 cases in the US. New York City reports 6,500 new cases. Those are some of the headlines in the last two or three hours. I've been keeping up on what the trends are like for California and in particular San Francisco because we were one of the first places in the US to have shelter in place orders. The early signs are encouraging that the curve is just starting to flatten a bit and the hospitals here are not as busy as some might fear. We haven't hit the peak yet that we might not see the peak here for another one or two weeks. I'm cautiously optimistic that all the things that we're doing that people are staying home, that the social distancing, that it's really working because I feel like the more we try and the harder we try now, the quicker we'll get through this together. Let's hop over onto YouTube. It was yesterday that I was asking you guys, I would love to know if you guys are also in an area where there's some sort of movement restriction or shelter in place order. And quite a few of you guys actually replied back. So thank you for replying back. Let's look at some comments. Oh, okay, this is about the cruise. A lot of you guys I know uh, on my channel love doing the cruise and want to find out more. When you go back to doing cruise videos, can you make tours of the different rooms on Atlantis? I think that might be a little bit difficult to do, but I'll keep that in mind. There are a lot of different types of rooms. The rooms themselves are not Atlantis specific. They're just specific to whatever cruise ship is being chartered. So there could be good videos on YouTube that are not Atlantis specific that could give you that information. Okay, Joey, we need you to come up with a fan group name for your subscribers. Are there that many fans out there? Why don't you guys come up with a name? Give me some options. And if I get enough, we can do like a poll of some sort. The stay at home order here in Texas is not enforced and I still go into the office daily as I am an essential employee in healthcare. Thank you for your service. I came out in the mid 90s, back in the day with Deborah Cox, Martha Washington, and It's Raining Man. Oh, that is awesome. Supermodel by RuPaul is one of your favorites. Rhythm of the Night, yes, of course. Are you planning to paint Easter eggs? I don't have paint. I don't think I've ever painted Easter eggs, actually. Melbourne is quiet and eerily ghostly. No one on streets except for a few homeless people, which is sad. Most people seem to adhere to the rules, but there are a few idiots. The jacks are patrolling, I assume you mean the police, giving out $2,000 fines to those violating the rules. And then another person from Australia, has movement restrictions also, essential service is not affected, fines are imposed for jail time if caught without a good reason. But hair salons are also open for business. And all the hair places here are closed. Not essential to get your hair cut. Malaysia is having the movement restriction order and all are forced to be at home unless for essentials. For getting essentials, we have to leave our home from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and in under a 10 kilometer radius. Otherwise, you can get fine or possibly jail time. Wow, some places are getting pretty strict with the enforcement. A couple of you guys mentioned, how do you, I use so little toilet paper. Okay, let's break this down. Toilet paper rolls that they sell, at least in the US, are like humongous rolls because in America, they like everything big. So you get one roll of a toilet paper, it's gigantically huge. So you get like, I don't know, a million squares or pieces of it. I go to the restroom once, sometimes twice a day, and it's thicker tissue paper, it's thicker toilet paper. So I only need two squares of this like three ply stuff that I have. So maybe like four squares or five squares a day. I put in a brand new roll, maybe like a week or so before the lockdown. So that's maybe three weeks ago. 
it seems like I'm maybe halfway through it. So I've got at least like another three or maybe four weeks left. I'm careful. So there you go. That's how I have a roll of toilet paper that lasts that long. Joey, what's the story with the stuffed animals in the window? That's why I'm sitting here today, part of the reasons. I got these two Starbucks bears from... You know what? I don't know. When I was really young, barely old enough to talk, I think, we were in a toy store. So it was me, my mom, I, my brother, and my sister were there too. My brother and sister were both older than me. At some point before checkout, I grabbed onto a brown teddy bear that's maybe like yay big, like a soft plushy brown teddy bear. And apparently my mom didn't notice until we were checking out and then either like my brother or sister or like the cashier pointed out that, oh, hey, your kid has like a bear. You need to pay for that. I guess I wouldn't let go. So my mom was like forced to buy it. This one is from, I think it's from David. It's from my friend David Lamb in Melbourne. And it was, I don't remember when you got it for me, David, I'm sorry. Maybe it was like my birthday from a couple of years ago, or it was some trip that we met up on, like some party trip we met up on. And then he got me this, it's um, a kangaroo. This one was actually supposed to be a accessory for an outfit. We went to EDC, this would have been 2016 maybe. We were supposed to dress up Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. We thought it was cute to like, in addition to dressing like the cartoon character, to also have like a little a doll basically with us. So this is where that was from. I would recommend a microwave plate cover. They're $7 on Amazon. I love them in case a microwave clean. My mom has basically like a plastic shroud thing that she puts on top of her food in the microwave. And I almost died laughing because right before the lockdown, I was hanging out with some friends in San Francisco. I was needing to use their microwave because they ordered um, some food for delivery. I went to warm it up and I opened his microwave and he had the exact same shroud thing as my mom and I just like died laughing. Will you do merch, type tank tops, acne product, and salsa? Um, I assume you're kidding. Merch would be fun to do. If people would buy it, I would do it. How about story time, Joey? As uh, a new segment where you tell a crazy, funny, or sad story from one of your many adventures on cruise ships. Doesn't just have to be from the cruise ship. I feel like a lot of my good stories are just from random places. Like I just told you stories about how I got all these dolls. Yeah, let's do story time. I like that idea. Cool, those are all the comments for today. Let's go do food supply check. Okay, so we got tons of salsa. We have more in the pantry. This one is almost empty, it's half and half, but that one is brand new. And then we still have lots of yogurt. No, it's not gonna expire before I eat it all. We have a dozen and a bit of eggs. We have chicken, we have beef, we have uh, I got a little more coffee because I drink it every single day now. We still have lots of blueberries and frozen vegetables. We still have a couple of bagels left. I had a couple of apples go bad, but these apples should be good. In the pantry, things are pretty much the same. We finished a can of the oatmeal already, but these two are still full. And we still have a good amount of chips and salsa and protein bars. I'm really happy that it's Friday, that the work week's over, and then I wanna be a little bit more productive. There's um, a few chores that I wanna do, not just like cleaning, but like organizing. Again, I should take the time in lockdown to start preparing for the eventual move out of this apartment, packing up certain things. To wrap up the vlog, because it's 9.30 now, and I'm just gonna be super lazy and pick out on, ooh, chips and salsa, I wanna have chips and salsa. We are going to do our now standard trip down photo memory lane. Okay, let's see what we've got. May 2017, this is White Party in Palm Springs. I think this was like the Friday, afternoon or maybe Saturday during the day. These are all videos, because I was vlogging it. Shangela is there. Get some audio. Yeah, 
think these are all videos. I'm pretty sure I have a vlog video for this. So go into my channel and you will find it. I don't remember that much from that party. Not a good thing, is it? All right, there you go. I'm tired. I want to like wind down and do nothing. Until tomorrow. Bye, YouTube.